Hey everyone, welcome back to JW Tech Bytes for all things tech. Are you a programmer, business analyst, system analyst, internal auditor, or into business process improvement? Say goodbye to manually drawing flowcharts on PowerPoint and worksheets, which can be tasky, especially in the structure and on alignment. Today, I'll show you how to create awesome flowchart diagrams with ChatGPT, Mamed.live, and Overleaf. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified on our future videos. So, first things first. As usual, you will need to have a ChatGPT account, then open a new chat where we'll enter our prompt. For today's example, we'll say, use mermaid.js syntax to create a flowchart for ordering pizza. And just like that, the script is generated. Now, scroll up and click copy code. Next, open the Mermaid Live editor. On default, you should see a sample flowchart like this one. Note that you don't need to create an account to use Mermaid Live editor. As you can see, under sample diagrams, you also have the ability to create different diagrams, such as a sequence diagram, flowchart, like we saw earlier. You can also create a class, state, an ER diagram for database administrators, Gantt chart for projects and research, and other options. Also, you can create a mind map for brainstorming. As you can see, there's a lot you can do with Mermaid. For our case, we will click on Flow. Then, delete the existing code and paste the code from ChatGPT. As you can see, it automatically generates for you the flowchart. Under Actions, you have the option to copy image to clipboard or download as PNG. You also have the option to zoom in to view the flowchart better by toggling on the pan and zoom option. Mermaid is a free, powerful tool that helps you create different types of diagrams. And with the help of ChatGPT, you can simply have ChatGPT write the code and Mermaid Live Editor generate the diagram. Now, for option two, I'll show you how to create flowcharts using Overleaf. Head back to ChatGPT and on a new chart, we shall ask ChatGPT to write a latex code of a flowchart with shapes that illustrates the steps to take before starting a car. Once the code is generated, simply scroll up and copy the code, then go to Overleaf. Here, you will need to register an account. Luckily, they provide a free plan for one user. Once you are done, click on Create First Project, then select Blank Project. Then we'll give the project a name. Let's call this one Flowchart. Then click Create. Next, you need to delete the code shown and then paste the code from ChatGPT. Click Recompile to generate the flowchart. Since I have a download manager, it gives me the option to download the image immediately. Let me disable this and try again. Okay, I have disabled the manager. Now, refresh the browser. As you can see, it now shows the flowchart diagram. And there you have it. Two simple and free ways to create amazing flowcharts. It's easy peasy and takes less than five minutes. So, what do you say to cutting down five hours of manual drawing of flowcharts to five minutes? Amazing, right? Get started now. I will leave links on the description below to make it easier to get started. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.